Hi there, this is Austin with Aces of Average. I'm just going to do a quick uh, review and comparison of the REI Trail Hut 2 versus the REI Passage 2. Uh, the Passage 2 seems to be the most popular uh, go-to tent um, for beginner backpackers and even car campers at the moment. I owned a Passage 2 and I recently got a deal on this Trail Hut 2 and uh, these are my thoughts and opinions. I wanted to go ahead and make this short video of the initial review since I could not find a single uh, video on YouTube reviewing the tent. Um, this tent is no longer sold. Uh, it looks like it was replaced by uh, all the tents around the $250 price range. Uh, this tent, when it was new, sold by REI, is right around $199. Um, I got this at a REI garage sale for $99. It looked like it had been used one time. There's no damage to it. Uh, and so I thought it was a good good deal since I was in the market for a three season tent. Uh, now I wanted to mainly compare this tent to the Passage 2, which is uh, an REI tent, which is still sold uh, for around $150. Uh, these tents are pretty comparable, I think, in the weight and the uh, people that are looking at buying. So neither one of these tents are super lightweight, the Passage 2 or the Trail Hut 2. However, they are light enough for backpacking, um, entry level campers, car campers, um, that kind of uh, clientele. Now the primary design difference is that the um, Passage 2 does not have the middle support bar that holds up the sidewalls uh, like the uh, Trail Hut 2 does. Now let's go ahead and get into the specifics of the uh, weight and mass of this tent. The tent as shipped is 2.54 kilograms. Uh, this includes the tent, the ground tarp, rain fly, poles, and the super heavy stakes that they send with you. Breaking that down further, the poles weigh 616 grams, the stakes weigh 156 grams, the rain fly uh, weighs 719 grams, the ground tarp weighs 181 grams, and I calculated the tent to weigh 863 grams. Some of the things I'll be uh, upgrading immediately will be the stakes. Uh, they're pretty heavy, and that's an easy item to go ahead and upgrade to reduce your overall weight and increase the usability. As you saw in the time lapse, uh, the tent was super easy and intuitive to set up. I never read any instructions. It sets up like any other tent, aside from maybe that uh, middle crossbar. As you can see here, the interior is extremely basic. There's one loop to hang a lantern or a headlamp from, um, although you'd have to have a carabiner to hang your headlamp, um, and that's it. No pockets, uh, no tabs to uh, make a hanging net uh, to hang other gear on, but sometimes that's all you need. As far as the size goes, I am 5 foot 10 inches, um, and I have about 2 to 3 inches um, above my head and below my feet. So your sleeping bag is definitely going to be rubbing on the edges if you are my size, however, because the walls are really vertical, I didn't really feel claustrophobic or that my space was cramped. As I sit up here, you can see that I have probably three to four inches left uh, above my head in the roof. And that is uh, one reason I really like this tent. You could very comfortably set two people upright in the middle of this tent and not be super, super close. My four season uh, tent, which is a Black Diamond Fitzroy, is a lot more cramped on the inside and it's really a two plus person tent. This brings me to my last point. As you can see in the opening video, the Passage 2 tent did not uh, fare well with high winds. Of course, that was definitely beyond its intended design. Uh, while the walls of this tent will be more vertical, which one might think uh, makes it more prone to uh, deformation uh, from side winds, 
the way the tents mesh together in the middle make the tent have a lot less slack than the Passage 2. Neither tent is really intended uh, for four season or uh, extreme conditions. However, it's always a good test and you never know when you might end up in a situation like that. That video was not planned. Um, it just happened to get extremely windy that day. In conclusion, I think this tent is definitely worth a buy if you can find it um, below the $130 range. Uh, the Passage Shoe is an excellent tent uh, for beginner backpacking, car camping, etc. And the Trail Hut 2 is kind of designed uh, for the same use. However, it's a little bit more spacious and a little bit more rigid. Plus, you can get it in all sorts of fun colors.